Welcome back to another tutorial. Now in the previous tutorial we talked about uh, updated physics uh, in Army 3D in the latest version using the new version, the new LTS version of Blender 2.3 and today I want to continue with this scene and uh, you can go watch that video to get caught up and in the second part I'm going to talk about nav mesh and nav mesh is basically pathfinding. You're going to create and define a path that your player or an enemy or anything really can follow and it, it can only follow that path uh, but it can choose what path to what's the shortest path and stuff like that today I'm gonna show you how to make the player move uh, a along a specific path now I'm gonna go hide the physics object so we just have the actual scene here and uh, in this scene I'm gonna select the actual platform and the walls which are merged together as in the walls and the platform the base here have been um, control J together uh, to join the same object together so what we're going to do is we're going to add a new army trait a bundle trait this time and we're going to select a nav mesh and here in this nav mesh we have a bunch of different properties now the main one will probably be the slope or the incline uh, the climb so that if you have volume in your map such as stairs or ladders the player will, will be able to go well to go on that but if you don't set that to an appropriate value then your player won't be able to access it and to really like to um, figure out what the player where the player can go means we'll just generate the nav mesh straight away so we give it a second and once it's generated you'll see a preview here we go this white thing it won't be visible in your render it's simply a preview of uh, where the player will be able to go and as you can see it's pretty much everywhere everywhere that there's a path the the nav mesh has been created so the player will be able to go anywhere so that's great that's what it's done that's all we have to do now we need to select the player and define the uh, tell blender that tell armory that the player needs to be part of that nav mesh the player is a component so we're going to select the nav agent bundled script and we can set the speed uh, to a low value or a higher value for me that's fine if you want your player to move slow then just set it to a slow value uh, but I'm going to use the default so now what we're going to do is we're going to control the player now that we've set up the nav mesh the player will be able to move along the nav mesh but we actually have to define how it's going to move so with the platform selected we have a pre-created node uh, group that I just did uh, you can just obviously create a new one and I made a loading screen but that's not important at all and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look for an on mouse event and we're going to set it to started so ma when mouse left started we're going to um, uh, let me just go to the yeah here we go nav mesh we're going to go to the location and the location is of the player obviously the cube and the location is going to be picked nav agent we're going to pick the location from the ground because that's the object that we uh, created the nav mesh on and now we need to uh, get the cursor coordinates to be able to figure out where that position is so we're going to get cursor location and we need to convert that through a vector so we're going to look for a vector and just plug the x into the x, the y into the y and the vector into the screen coordinates and now that, that's all you have to do, now when you click somewhere it's going to get the location of that and it's going to pick the ideal location on the nav mesh to get there and it's going to take the player to that location so if we go down and test the game out I'm just going to turn on my first processor, turn off my first processor so it loads faster and now as you can see it's loading this is the um, loading screen that I made it's not important it's seven seconds and then it loads it and now when we click anywhere like if I click over here it's gonna find the shortest path and it's gonna go there now it is a bit buggy uh, that's simply because of my scene setup isn't ideal but yours should be fine so yeah that's how you do it and uh, it's pretty cool obviously the camera and the light are parented to the player and it's the turnaround I think that is uh, a bit buggy like it turns pretty fast and there we go the physics are working well 
for you know a test for the previous tutorial like I said if you haven't seen the previous tutorial you should probably go check it out it's uh, very important uh, to know if you've got already but you probably should if you've been using Blender Physics uh, thank you very much for watching I hope you like this tutorial I do have a bunch of requests that I will get to work on I will do it I just had a few technical issues uh, back in the studio but they're resolved now and I'll be posting more content much more frequently so subscribe and uh, leave a like because it helps me out a lot encourage me to continue tutorials thank you very much for watching have a good day